Canada gets about 4,000 sheikhs annually. So you can imagine we are a highly seismic country. We're sort of the thing which we always talk about is that earthquakes don't kill people, it's the buildings that kill people. So you really, if you want to save lives, we really need to actually look after the buildings that should not collapse during an earthquake. And of these buildings, the masonry structures are most at risk, particularly as they were designed back in the old days. Now if you move to British Columbia, British Columbia gets nearly 2,500 earthquakes per year. I'm sure most of you know have felt a tremor um, now and then. And over 100 are uh, of Richter 5. What I'd like to draw a parallel to is steel. Now, as you know, concrete is a very brittle material, the one we use in our buildings, but steel is a highly ductile material. It actually takes a great deal of load, it has a very high strength, and it also has a very high ductility. So it deforms greatly before it fractures. And I think we like that because uh, you want the structure to deform before it fails so that people can actually leave the structure, so that you can escape the structure because you know it's going to essentially, essentially uh, collapse now.